Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a very basic, chill, average work day ahead of me, but I'm about to make lunch and this is one of my all-time favorite foods and things that I've made recently and that is chili garlic noodles. It's relatively simple and for the most part uses ingredients you probably already have on hand. The only thing that I had to order online for this recipe is gochugaru or Korean chili flakes but once you have those, this recipe is very easy to whip up for lunch and I just can't stop eating it. I thought I would take the vlog camera out and show you guys because it is that good. I like to add some veggies and also some fried tofu, which I'm probably just gonna put in the air fryer to make it extra fast instead of turning the oven on. I really need to sharpen my knives or get new knives because like it's struggling to cut through a green onion right now. This is extra firm tofu, by the way. I have been buying it recently and it just saves some prep time. What's really nice about an air fryer is you can put your tofu in completely naked. You don't have to put anything on it and it will fry them to a crisp. I always just heat the sauce in the pan and then add the noodles instead of adding hot oil to the mixture because when I did that, I almost set my house on fire. The noodles are done. I am going to quickly rinse them and then toss them in the hot sauce. I could not be more excited to eat this. I also finally have reusable chopsticks, which just makes this even better. The noodles I used are gluten-free, but they're still really chewy. And so I feel like it perfectly works with this so well. And the tofu were nice and crispy. This is something I used to not be able to eat with my gut health issues, but I have been finally working on them with a functional medicine doctor and I have never felt better in my whole life, which is, so surreal, like being able to eat this much garlic and broccoli in the same sitting used to cause me so much pain and I haven't been in pain, which is just, like I said, it's surreal. I just did all of the dishes because I am one of those people that like gets really irritated when I see dishes. So I try to do them after I eat, um, but that was delicious. It really made my nose run. I feel like my sinuses are cleared now but it is now time to take my daily supplements, which are in this adorable crate from Hay. Why do I look like an art teacher? Do we like it? This might be TMI, but if you have severe ongoing gut issues, I am here to help because I know what that's like and I have gone to so many gastrointestinal doctors. I've had so many different procedures done all throughout my life since I was a kid and this is the first doctor that I've ever been to that genuinely helped me and she is a functional medicine doctor so they really focus on finding the root cause and do a lot of testing. So I did a GI 360 test on my gut microbiome. This doctor and this test were both out of network. It's not the most accessible thing, unfortunately, but I was able to see that I was lacking a ton of good bacteria, like almost none. I had a overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria as well as an overgrowth of yeast in my small intestine. So now seeing that information, it made so much sense why I was having all of these symptoms and issues that I've been having. I truly thought I was going to have to avoid kale and cabbage and onions and garlic for the rest of my life. And just being able to see what is actually wrong in my gut and why I'm having those issues and then being able to supplement for the deficiencies that are making me feel worse and also take what can fix my gut has just been an incredible experience and so valuable. Obviously everyone has different needs, so I can't just recommend you to take 
what I'm taking, but I do highly recommend seeing a functional doctor if you're able to, and if not, just bumping up the probiotics you're taking and eating a good amount of fiber as well as really diverse vegetables. My doctor recommends having 35 different plants in your diet every single week. So that can be fruits, vegetables, can even be herbs and seasonings, but just really challenge yourself to try and buy different vegetables at the store and branch out because all of those different plants have different bacteria and it helps with having a diverse gut microbiome, which I just thought was really interesting and something I had never thought about before. I really need to find my blue light glasses because my eyes just hurt all the time. It is like 3.30 now and it's incredibly gloomy outside. I was just checking some things off my work to-do list and I actually have a video due on a sunscreen brand, but it's gloomy outside and this is for Instagram. So I really need some sun for that. So I might have to postpone that to tomorrow. Three to four is when the sunlight in my apartment is just like dappled and bright and amazing. And I don't see it. I think I'm going to go to Best Buy because I've been really needing to buy a new vlog camera. And I think today is the day. I think I am going to do it because the Sony ZV-1 that I'm interested in. I currently have the Sony Alpha 600. If you know anything about Sony cameras, um, that might mean something to you. This is basically just the better vlog camera. This is my full-time job now, so I deserve to invest in good high quality things. And I think I can also sell this camera back to Best Buy. So that is something I need to figure out. And it might just be easiest to do that right now while it's gloomy and I can't really get much other content. I also just posted a little question box over on Instagram and I thought I could answer those questions when we get back from Best Buy because I haven't vlogged in a while. I wanna say a month. I have been vlogging here and there but then not posting them because I've been really struggling with my mental health, honestly. Just hating the way that things look, being incredibly critical, and having anxiety attacks. As much as I love creating content, when you're creating content about your everyday life, that just is not super healthy when you are a perfectionist and it just was getting to me and I needed to make some more other types of content. So I was focusing on sit down videos and short form content. And that really brings me a lot of fulfillment. I really like making videos about different topics and about styling and that just have a little bit more meat to them as opposed to here's what I did in my life as a YouTuber. Even though vlogs are the number one type of content that I like to consume, no matter what that creator does for a living, it's just not what I created my channel to do. I made my channel to be like a fashion and lifestyle girl talking about my favorite things and styling and outfits of the week. And I wanna get back to a happy medium where I do both the occasional vlog as well as sit down videos. And so that's just what I've been kind of working on, just finding a balance. And I really want to work on feeling the need to edit myself less and be as authentic as I can on camera without getting upset at myself, basically. I just realized I have a bag of thrifted stuff that I need to drop at the dry cleaner. So I think I'm going to do that while I'm out as well. But of course, I have to show you guys what I picked up. This is all from the Silver Lake Flea. I got this silver little corset, crop top, tube top. This is just a black stretchy mini skirt. I really love black mini skirts. They're a must, but all of mine were looking really short lately. And so I thought I would pick up this one. It feels just like ever so slightly longer, but still a mini skirt. Um, but I think I'll just wash that here. I got this brown suede oversized jacket, which I know I absolutely have to get dry cleaned. I don't think I can wash that myself. And the last thing is this really cool netted cardigan. I don't know why I picked this up. It's very boho, but I just really liked it with my dress when I put it on over it. I am not surprised at all 
they were out of the camera. So I bought it and I have to pick it up at a different Best Buy tomorrow, but they really confirmed me wanting that new camera because my current camera is more of a photo and video camera where the ZV-1 that I'm getting is for vlogging. So I feel good about that and I also got a memory card. <sighs> so now I'm gonna go home. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create an online presence and also run your business. I have been using Squarespace to run my website for years now, and I just love how easy they make the process. No matter what you're making your website for, they have thousands of templates to choose from, and they're all customizable to you and your needs and whatever kind of aesthetic you're going for. And they've really streamlined the entire process, so whether you're a designer or not, it is super easy to create a beautiful website. They even have custom domains available. I was able to get lindsayrem.com and if you are working on rebranding all of your stuff, that is a necessary part and I love that it's just built right in. Squarespace also has amazing blogging and commenting features. So if you're looking to create a blog, they have a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, which just helps foster more community within your own website. And I love that you can drag categorize and schedule your posts to go live because as a content creator that is just incredibly helpful on the back end as well as having access to powerful analytics tools so you can gain insights about your site visitors you can learn more about your page views traffic sources audience geography and more which is super helpful when it comes to creating content if you're interested in creating a website anytime soon I highly recommend Squarespace and you can also get 10% off your first First purchase of a website or domain, just go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or use the code lindsayrem at checkout. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you with some new content very soon. Bye guys.